regulation of carbon dioxide in the body. How is carbon dioxide regulated? Guys, I told you that for the case of carbon dioxide, it only has one way. It doesn't have two ways. It doesn't have two ways. Uh, let me check here. Let me check here before I go to. Okay. In this one, they brought a thermal regulation. Uh, did they? Okay. This one, I'll talk about it. They bring about. No. Okay. I'll talk about. Uh, let me first uh, describe everything, then I'll go to the questions separate. So here they're saying, regulation of carbon dioxide in the body. What are you talking about here? Here, you need to know, is carbon dioxide important in our body? No, we don't need carbon dioxide. So any level of carbon dioxide is not needed. Therefore, we have to remove out of the, our body. That's why. Carbon dioxide level in the body only has one way. It doesn't have two ways. No, it only has. If you check this one, yes, you will find out that it has the upper one and the lower one. But carbon dioxide uh, only has one way. Decrease in the level of carbon dioxide, that's better. If it's not there, that's good. Increase in the carbon dioxide level, we don't want it. That's why its regulation is related to decrease in the amount of carbon dioxide in the blood. Okay. First of all, carbon dioxide is supposed to be detected. When you say that, uh, number one, someone asking me, where do I start? You start from here. I put it number one. Stimulus. Stimulus. What's the stimulus? Increase in the carbon dioxide level in the blood. And this leads to decrease in pH and decrease in oxygen. Why is oxygen decreased? Because we use oxygen in a respiration and we produce carbon dioxide. That's why it means that if I have low level of oxygen, it means that I have high level of carbon dioxide because carbon oxygen has been used to produce energy and the carbon dioxide is a byproduct of respiration. Now, how is pH decreased in the blood? How is that linked? When we look at it scientifically, sorry guys, I'm just going to use just a small bit of chemistry. Ne? Yes. <clears throat> we know that. No one is going to ask you this, but I'm explaining to you how did this low pH come about? And how is it linked to carbon dioxide? Why do we need to talk about low pH when you're talking about carbon dioxide? Yes. When carbon dioxide reacts with water don't forget that our body is above 75 percent water so we have water yes so so when carbon dioxide reacts with water you form this is a weak acid you, you see we it's a reversible equation okay you form what you call carbonic acid we call this one carbonic acid the the best example of carbonic acid is uh, acidic rain rain which is acidic yeah when when, when now the, the first rain you're gonna receive after winter because it has stayed longer without raining so carbon dioxide has accumulated in the atmosphere when that water comes and reacts with the carbon dioxide however much is a is is not a good uh, it does not dissolve in water easily but there is some bit of dissolving so it forms that acidic water, so acidic rain. So in this case, it forms carbonic acid. So it means that now the blood, because this is water, the blood becomes a little bit of acidic. And if you have acidic acid, it means that the pH decreases because from one to six, it is acidic. So it, it means that the more it goes down, it, the more it becomes acidic, the pH becomes lower. That's why you say that increase in carbon dioxide level decreases the pH. You understand? So meaning that whenever I have too much carbon dioxide, the pH is going to be decreased. Because our receptors in the body, we do not detect carbon dioxide, but we do detect the pH. That's why number two receptors low pH detected. You see, how does it detect being detected? 
is being detected by this carbon dioxide reacting with water to form carbonic acid. Then this carbonic acid is being detected because carbonic acid is a chemical, is being detected by the chemoreceptors. The receptors in the body which detect these chemicals. So these chemicals are being detected by hmm, chemoreceptors. Am I clear? Am I making you lost? Huh? When is prelim section live starting? We are preparing the gadgets, yes, for helping us so that different teachers can streamline at the same time. Yes. So uh, maybe by the end of this month, maybe around there 20, 20 something. Yes, the lives will start. We'll start so that now it is 24-7. Anytime you want to check or if you ask a question, uh, maybe from WhatsApp or what, we switch to it. And then or we prepare for you and then we answer those questions immediately. All right, let's continue to... I think I'm clear there. So number one, when you go back to what is needed in life science, increase in blood glucose, sorry, blood carbon dioxide levels decreases the pH or lead to the decreased pH and then the decrease in oxygen. I think I've explained that. And then now, number two, the receptor will detect the low pH using, what are they going to use? The chemoreceptors. We call them chemoreceptors because they detect the chemicals the chemicals yes number three now the moment receptors detect the moment receptors detect what is the next step the receptors will detect and then they will have to send an impulse so these receptors remember that receptors always the sensory cells basically yes when you go to uh, the nervous system, the sensory cells will change this, this message of chemical into a nerve impulse. So impulse is sent to medulla oblongata. Eh, why not cerebra? Why, why does it go to medulla oblongata? Eh? Question, why? Okay, it goes to medulla oblongata because medulla oblongata controls all involuntary actions. Not reflex actions. There is a difference between involuntary actions and reflex action. Actions which are done to protect the body from danger, we call them, we call them what? We call them reflex actions. But actions which work without control, but they are not linked to protection of the body, then we call them involuntary actions. For example, breathing, heartbeat, mm, peristalsis. When you are swallowing the food, when food goes in the throat, you can't tell the food that come back my food. No way, it has gone. The sweetness is gone. Once it reaches the throat, whoosh, down the stomach. You can't control. You are sleeping as the food is moving. How did it go to the rectum? So that you can go to, to the toilet to do the best action ever. Yeah. How did it go there? It goes there. You, you don't have control over that. All those actions are being controlled by medulla oblongata. Hence, the impulse is being sent to medulla oblongata. So what does the medulla oblongata do? The medulla oblongata will send a message, another impulse, to respiratory muscles. That's the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. Yes. To increase the rate and the depth of breathing. Heartbeat. Meaning that the heartbeat will increase. It does not only increase the heartbeat, but even the depth, the rate, that is fast, the rate, depth, 
You understand? The depth increases and the rate at which you are breathing also increases. Why does it increase? Why do we need to increase the breathing rate? And the heart is supposed to increase the, 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 the rate at which it is pumping blood so that this blood can transport this carbon dioxide from the uh, cells where carbon dioxide is being produced from to respiratory surfaces or respiratory centers. That is uh, the lungs. And more oxygen is taken from the lungs to the muscles or to the cells where this oxygen is needed. So that now the level of carbon dioxide decrease and the level of oxygen increase in the blood. You understand? This thing is, is, is working antagonistically. Because here we started with carbon dioxide increase and oxygen decrease. So what we are looking at, carbon dioxide to decrease and the oxygen to increase. Therefore, the heart beat increase. Don't forget that the heart beat originates from within itself. It has muscles. Mm. Yes, tissues. There are muscles, tissues, which initiate the heartbeat. But here, this medulla oblongata, what it does, it increases the rate at which the heart is beating. Yes, when you go to the heart, you will study about it, um, that it has its uh, beating. The, the beating is originated within itself. And always I tell my students, we don't de de determine that the person is dead by using the heart. No. You can remove the heart, hold it, and the person is still alive. If, what about those people where, who are, uh, they, where, where a heart transplant is being done? The hearts are being removed. Yes. So, this is not related to the heart. Why? Because the heart has its own beating mechanism. This is regarded to the brain. If the brain dies, then automatically you are dead. However much the heartbeat is still there, you are dead. Yes. So the heart beat this medulla oblongata. Why am I saying that? I'm just trying to show you that the function of medulla oblongata is not to start the heartbeat. No, to increase the rate of heartbeat. So that more carbon dioxide is removed from the body. And the moment carbon dioxide is removed from the body, definitely the carbon dioxide level is going to fall down. What about the pH? The pH is going to increase back. It's going to go back to normal. Why? Because now there is no carbon dioxide reacting to uh, this. Or oh, if it is there, it's very minimal reacting with water to form carbonic acid. It means that less carbonic acid is being formed. And definitely what happens, the level of carbon dioxide goes back to normal. And that's the mechanism. I don't know why they like this question so much. Maybe because students uh, tend to fail this question, but they like to ask this question. And this is the only question. Can I repeat? is the only question in the negative feedback mechanism where it is brought as it is that describe the negative feedback mechanism of carbon dioxide. The other questions of this homeostasis, negative feedback mechanism, they only come in different versions the way I'm going to show you. But this is the only question which comes straight. And in most cases, when it comes, it comes for six, for six, six marks. So, guys, just in case it comes, make sure that you go when you know it. It must not be an issue for you to fail. Yes. Let me know if you, 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 you have any question. Yes. So that I can also smash it before I continue. So, let me do a wind up. Number one, stimulus. What is the stimulus? Increase in carbon dioxide level. This leads to the decrease in the pH and decrease the level of oxygen. I explained it that glucose, uh, uh, sorry, oxygen decreases because uh, it's being used under respiration and carbon dioxide is being produced and carbon dioxide reacts with water to form a low pH. 
And then now the pH is being detected because the pH is low, is being detected by the chemoreceptors. Why chemoreceptors? Because chemoreceptors, they detect chemicals and low pH carbonic acid is a chemical. So now this will, um, the control centers will send the impulse to medulla oblongata. Why medulla oblongata? We say that it's medulla oblongata because medulla oblongata controls all voluntary, involuntary actions. The respiratory muscles of the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, the increase in the rate and the depth of breathing and muscles of the heart increase. So the moment all this increase, breathing increases with the depth and the rate of heartbeat also increases, definitely more carbon dioxide is going to be removed from the body. And then if carbon dioxide is removed from the body, then automatically the pH is going to return to normal. And then it continues like that. I think I'm clear there. And I've said that this is the only question where they bring it as the way it is. You write it the way it is. You just, you don't draw diagram, flow diagram. No, please don't draw flow diagrams. We won't give you math. Use, write step one in paragraphs. You can just write in paragraphs or in blades. Still is fine. Still you get the mark. Yes. Are we together? Are we together, guys? Yeah, so basically, this is an explanation in words of what I've explained. How to write in exam, high concentration of carbon dioxide lead to formation of carbonic acid. The pH of the blood drops, more meaning that there is more acidic. It's more acidic. The impulse is sent to medulla oblongata, and the breathing rate and the depth of breathing increase. The heart rate also increase and more carbon dioxide move to the lungs. Yes, so that it is exhaled, expelled. Yes, breathe out. All those words can be used concurrently. They're saying that then the blood carbon dioxide level return to normal. Simple. Hey, that's my slogan. I like it because these things are simple, but sometimes... The books make them to be deeper. Use this distinction material. There is no way how you can fail to get a distinction. Yeah, download it from the description below. Yes. So 